what's up? Amelia here and you're watching Newsbreak. Researchers have made a breakthrough in tracing the origin of the Black Death. It was the deadliest pandemic in history and now we might finally have a better idea about where and when it began. Here's Joe. I'm a plague doctor. It's a pretty grim job, really. All my patients keep dying on me. Come on, wake up. It's a bit demoralising, really. Add in the fact I have to wear this beak-looking mask. Sheesh. Yeah, the Black Death was a rough time. The bubonic plague, as it's also known, happened way back in the mid-14th century and swept right across Asia, North Africa and Europe, where it wiped out tens of millions of people. And nobody even knows where it came from. What if I told you in around 600 years, we'll know? Yeah, right. What else will we have? Electricity? Oh, sure. Actually, we do know. A bunch of researchers from Scotland and Germany say it started around Lake Isik Kul in Kyrgyzstan. It was the site of more than 100 marked graves, all within the span of just one year, from 1338 to 1339. The tombstones said they died of pestilence, which means a contagious or infectious disease. Now, researchers have analysed DNA from the skeletons and found they had traces of Yersinia pestis, the bacteria that causes bubonic plague. They say it makes sense that this could be where it all started, because this area is right on the Silk Road, a famous trading route that linked Asia and Europe. And as people and goods travelled along it, so did the plague, which lays to rest a nearly 700-year-old mystery and means we can focus on other things. Uh, have you heard of COVID? Huh? Hmm, does anyone else hear a buzzing in the air? That would be the Beehive because Beyonce is back. She's just announced the release of her seventh album, Renaissance. It's Beyonce's first solo album in six years and for weeks she's been teasing fans with cryptic hints and clues about B7. Now for some exciting sports news, the Golden State Warriors are this year's NBA champs. Over to you, Michelle. Yep, the Warriors have done it again, defeating the Boston Celtics 103-90 to to take out the NBA Finals Series four games to two. It's the Warriors' fourth NBA Championship title in eight years, and superstar Steph Curry was in fine form, scoring an impressive 34 points to earn his first Finals MVP. Some Curry chaos here on the third! She's known as the Ice Mermaid. Chilean swimmer Barbara Hernandez has set not one, but two world records after swimming between the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans in southern Chile, where the water is very, very chilly. Hernandez swam one nautical mile, or 1.8 kilometres, in 15 minutes and 3 seconds. She's also the first person ever to swim three nautical miles, or 5.5 kilometres, between both oceans. Thousands of rev heads are in Darwin for the Triple Crown. The annual motor racing event has everything from supercars to superbikes to drag races. And this year is the first ever supercar Indigenous round, which is all about celebrating First Nations cultures. Being the inaugural Indigenous round here is really, really special and really awesome. Now, I think it's important to look good for big occasions, like presenting a TV show. Maybe I should change. Ugh. That's not right. Oh, that's better. Because these next stories are all about doing it in style. These stylish pooches are getting ready for their big moment on the stage of the famous Westminster Dog Show in New York. There are even a couple of new breeds joining this year, the Russian Toy and the Moody. This is a very old breed. It's from the Isle of Skye in Scotland. Now, Ladies' Day at Royal Ascot in the UK is all about style, darling, obviously. Yes, there were hats galore, if you can call these hats. More like a fluffy pink butterfly vortex or a rainbow spaceship. Well, either way, it was clearly a... Lovely day! Well said. And is there anything more chic than a white shirt and a black tuxedo? Of course not, and these little cuties clearly know that. This is the moment rescued Magellanic penguins were released back into the wild in Argentina. And they dressed just for the occasion. Although they did forget their bow ties. <laughs> Silly penguins. Well, that's all the news for today, but we'll be back with more next week. See you then.